everyone, welcome to my first video. Today we'll be talking about biology or CIA A level topic 1.3 chemical tests for biological molecules. And we'll start off with tests for lipids and proteins. Right, so first off we've got the emulsion test. An emulsion is when small droplets of a substance are suspended in another solution. The emulsion test returns a positive result if a sample contains a lipid. So firstly you add the sample, so you place a sample in a boiling tube with ethanol. Then you shake the solution, so you shake it well and leave it upright for 2-3 to three minutes. Then you transfer the solution, so you pour the solution into a boiling tube containing distilled water. And then finally you observe the results, so if a lipid is present, a white and milky layer will form. Excellent. So this is just going through the steps in the emulsion. So drag in the into the correct order. So so shake well and leave upright for two to three minutes. Pour solution into a boiling tube containing distilled water. Place sample in a boiling tube with ethanol. So we know we've got to put that one as number one. That one as number two two and then right at the end we we pour the solution into a boiling tube containing distilled water excellent so next what does a white milky emulsion in the emulsion test show the presence of a lipid presence of reducing sugar the presence of a non-reducing sugar or the presence of a protein well we know it's the presence of a lipid Right, so the Burette test. The Burette test is used to test for the presence of a protein in a sample. So first you add the sample. So you add the sample to the distilled water and Burette solution. So you grind it in the water if the sample is a solid. Shake the solution. Shake then leave upright for 5 minutes and observe the colour. Then we analyse the results. The Burette test changes colour from blue to violet when proteins are present. The result will only be positive if the amino acids are joined together by peptide bonds as they are in proteins. The result will not be positive if the solution contains only free amino acids. Right, so which ones do we do first? Analyse the colour change, add the sample to distilled water and burette solution or you shake the solution. So we know that you add the sample to the distilled water and burette solution first. Then you shake the solution and then at the end you analyse the colour change to see if it has actually gone from blue to violet. Excellent. So next, what are the stages in the burette test? So you add the sample to something water and burette solution. Then you shake the solution and leave for 5 minutes. Then you see if the burette solution changes from blue to something. So the first one is distilled. And the last one is violet. Excellent. What is the name of the test shown in this diagram? So if you look at it, it's showing right at the end a milky lipid layer forms. So we know when that forms, it shows the presence of a lipid. And the first one, it, it gives you away a potential lipid is dissolved in ethanol. So we know if it's a lipid test, and it creates a milky lipid layer. This is known as an emulsion test. So the burette test, understanding. The burette test is used to identify the presence of polypeptide chains. Burette solution changes from blue to violet if protein is present. Now um, I'm just going to highlight when it says the presence of polypeptide chains. So as I said before, if there were just free amino acids there, you wouldn't see the change from blue to violet. Cool. I think that's the last question. What colour change takes place if polypeptides are present? So if the polypeptides are present, we'd see a change from blue to violet. Excellent. Thanks for listening.